TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. You see it, man, right behind me. That's the warning. And things of that nature. Read it and weed it. Or however the saying goes. Um, don't forget, man, twitch.com if you want to play back any of the old live streams or be ready for the next one. The username is right there at the bottom. You see it. We also got merch and we got our uh, Patreon. We do that Monday through Friday, man. <clears throat> Let's get into this, man. This is uh, Skyboy, the Deadly War in the West Midlands, Battle of Wolverhampton. Oh. Okay, talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Today we are in Wolverhampton, which is a city and metropolitan borough in the West Midlands, England, located 12 miles northwest of Birmingham. You may have only heard of the football club Wolves when you heard about the city. However, despite not in mainstream media, Wolverhampton is one of the most dangerous cities in the West Midlands. The overall crime rate in Wolverhampton in 2020 was 92 crimes per thousand people. 1.4% higher than the West Midlands average. Wolverhampton Central is the most dangerous neighbourhood, followed by Wensfield Town and West Park. There's a deadly war going on in the city and today I'll be doing a deep dive into the different gangs who operate in the city as well as their rivalries. Now Black Gang is a gang located in All Saints as well as Parkfield's WV2 postcode. Their main allies are Firetown and Bandits. Their main rival- Hold on bro, did bro just have some merch? Oh, I thought that was my merch. Oh man, I was too excited. My bad. are the Park Village, Eastfield Boys, Dovecoats, and Cedar Grove. Their most famous rapper is M. Loose, who recently ah. racked in 400k plus views on his own channel with his song, I'm the Reason. Okay. Now, the Triz Gang are based in the Lee Siles, Merrydell Court, Jeff Cock, and Dell Street Estates in the WV3 postcode. They are allied with the Glenworth boys. Their main beefs are with Black Gang, Park Village, Cedar Grove, Tenside, Firetown, etc. The Glenworth boys are located in Dunstall Hill, Dunstall Park, Glenworth Gardens, Foxall, Farndale, and the Brookhurst Drive Estates in Whit Marines WV6. They are allied with S Block, 23 Drillers, Triz, and Cedar Grove. They are rivals with Black Gang, Park Village, Eastfield boys. Firetown, Tenside, Dove Coats, and Ten Nine. So a lot of gangs to remember. I ain't gonna hold you right now. Park Village is a gang located in a new Park Village estate. You, they are allied with Tenside and Cedar Grove, and are rivals with Black Gang, Firetown, Triz, Glenworth Boys, and S Block. Now in the WV10 postcode, we have Tenside at the top and the Kipling Road Boys at the bottom. They are allied with Cedar Grove and Park Village with their rivals being the Glenworth boys. Cedar Grove is a gang located in Lunt, Villiers and Solana States WV14. They used to be allied with the Black Gang. I'm not gonna lie, this needs like a chart, like like a little chart to show you who's allied with who after you say it all, like just put a little chart up like so I can look at it. <laughs> Cause if you look, man, I'm, a, I'm from a place where this is a lot to follow right now. Black Gang. AR and Glenworth boys and were rivals with Eastfield boys, Dove Coast and Triz. They are now allied with Tenside, Park Village and Eastfield boys. They are rivals with Firetown, Black Gang, Triz, Glenworth boys and ASL which stands for Always Stay Loyal. Now the Eastfield True. boys are a gang located in the Eastfield estate and Essington Way estate WV1 and Dove City are located in the Dove Coast estate. They are both allied with each other and Tenside. Their rivals are with Firetown, Glenworth Boys, Black Gang and Cedar Grove. Now S Block is a gang located in Scotland's estates. They are allied with 10-9, Glenworth Boys and Triz. They have issues with Park Village and Firetown. 
See, Firetown splits into two sides, 623 and 326. They are a gang located in the Heathtown Estates. They are allied with the Black Gang and are rivals with Park Village, Dovecoats, Eastfield Boys, Cedar Grove, Tenside, Triz, Glenworth Boys, S Block, and pretty much the whole city. And finally, 109 are a gang located in a low hill estate. They are allied with Firetown and S Block, and they have rivalry with Glenworth Boys. Now, back in the day, pre 2010, Dove City were known as Gang Green or the Pendiford Crew. Now, on the 24th of August 2010, Marlon Morris, who was a Pendiford crew member, was stabbed to death by Jamie Price from Heathtown, which is what Firetown was known as back then. Jamie Price was given a minimum 21-year jail sentence for the murder. Jamie Price was the son of dance music star Goldie, who was a music producer and DJ who initially gained exposure for his work as a graffiti artist. Goldie became well known for his pioneering role as a musician in the 1990s UK jungle drum and bass and breakbeat hardcore scenes. Now father of one Marlon Morris was stabbed four times, once fatally in the heart due to bitter rivalries between the Pendiford crew and the Heathtown based Firetown gang. Now Benjamin who goes by the street name Shredder was said to have seriously injured a member of Price's gang, leading to an increase in tension between Pendiford and Heathtown gangs. One community source familiar with the gangs of Wolverhampton said historically the main rivalries in terms of gangs were between Heathtown and Park Village. A lot of it is about respect issues, but there's obviously a drug aspect to it as well. People from Heathtown would come over to Park Village and throw their weight around, and there were spats with people from Whip Marines as well. Pendiford didn't really appear on the map historically, but as Shredder got stronger, he appears to have acquired his own gang and have decided that they were going to stamp their mark on the world. Every time they came into contact, there would be a beating or a stabbing or shots fired, and the murder of Marlon Morris was the tipping point of that. Who knows what the beef between Heathtown and Pendiford is, it's likely to be around respect. Sources say the rise of the Pendiford crew can be traced back to the gangland murder of Wolverhampton footballer Kevin Nunes in 2002. Nunes was shot dead by a rival gang of drug dealers including senior figures in the Heathtown gangs. Now on the 19th of March 2011, Park Village I feel like I heard him mentioned in a name on a song before gang members were scheming for the revenge on one of their own members being beaten up earlier that day by Firetown members. Nathan Hamilton, a Park Village member, walked into the bedroom where five other members were present and brought a shotgun. Sadly, firearms aren't just a danger to your enemies. If not used carefully, accidents can occur. Nonetheless, a tragedy took place when Nathan accidentally shot his own member dead. Raheem Hines Thomas was shot in the chest as his twin brother watched it unfold. Raheem's twin brother, Raymond, told police in a statement given a day after the shooting, Nathan came into the room with a bag, which was about three feet long. Then I saw him with the shotgun in his hand. He was sitting opposite Raheem and I was sat next to my brother. I wasn't paying attention. I was messaging a friend on my Blackberry. Whilst I sat messaging, I heard a big bang and two seconds later saw Raheem holding his chest. I could see blood everywhere. I tried to pick him up. He couldn't walk. I turned him round and dragged him out of the house onto the grass. Then I laid him down on the grass outside. I can definitely say that Nathan walked into the room with a bag. I saw him unzip the bag. I can say 100% he had the bag. The shot teenager was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. His twin brother That's crazy. Friendly fire is insane. Said in a statement, after leaving hospital, I went back to the house and up to the bedroom. I could see blood everywhere and the bag I had seen was no longer there. Roman Hines Thomas sat in a witness box while the statement was read and consistently answered question about its content from both the prosecutor and defense lawyer John Cooper QC with the phrase, I don't know. But he did admit that the statement had been read to him after it was made and that he had signed every page of it. When Mr. Cooper asked him, did he make it clear to the police that whatever Nathan did, it was an accident. The witness replied yes. Nathan Hamilton pled not guilty to manslaughter and possessing a firearm with intent to endanger life. Huh? Well, you are you going to jail. <laughs> guilty. What are you talking about? Bro, put a whole statement on you, signed every page, and that, all of that. However, a jury at Wolverhampton Crown Court found him guilty after hearing how the teenager died Obviously. the result of a single gunshot wound to the chest. Nathan Hamilton, 
29 years old from Valley Road, Wolverhampton, was jailed for 12 years at Statford Crown Court. Detective Inspector oh, Phil yeah, Asquith now. from West Midlands Police said this whole case demonstrates in the worst possible way how dangerous firearms can be, especially when they are oh, in the man. wrong hands. Now on the 24th of April 2014, Fats, a known Glenworth boy shooter and another member were looking for ops in the Eastfield area. Two Eastfield boy members in Kush and KG were spotted. Fats managed to hit both with one bullet, collateral damage. Fats even brags about this event in a drill track where he says, This so a word of you, me and I'll bang on the E, I'll blam KG in a nile in Kush. Me, I'll go wicked man in, what you know about hitting two youths with one? In May 2000. I'm not gonna lie, that is negative, first of all, the lyric, but that is crazy. He got a two for one special. No disrespect, but that he got a two for one. He got a buy one, get one free. It's crazy. 2015, a huge brawl happened between Firetown gang members, which included the likes of Evil, real name Nathaniel Nugent, and Shanky, real name Shamar Faircloth. One Glenworth Boys member was clutching and waving around a hammer when he was chased by 19 year old Evil who was clutching a knife himself and was wearing the distinctive red flash of the Firetown gang along with Shanky chased the boy into the foyer of the Britannia where he was involved in a scuffle. The Glenworth boy was later found to have suffered a stab wound to the chest that required 5 stitches. Camera footage also captures Evil and Shanky leaving the scene after the attack. Evil, age 19, from Clive Road, Red Ditch. Which Bro's nickname is Evil? He not trying to make it out of nowhere. He just, he, he cool in the hood, nicknamed Evil. Chased the boy with the hammer into the hotel, pleaded guilty to possession of a knife and affray, and was ordered to be detained in a young offender's institution for two years. Shanky, also 19, agreed to be bound over for 12 months in the sum of £200 at an earlier hearing. The boy with the hammer admitted possessing of an offensive weapon, assault and affray and received an 18 month youth rehabilitation order under supervision and 8 month nighttime curfew. In 2017, Dow City gang leader Shredder, real name Scott Benjamin, accidentally shot himself in the bedroom of a house in Cypress Road, Walsall. The 13 year old serious injuries required a house in Cypress Road, Walsall. The 13 year old's serious injuries required surgery, which is said to have involved the removal of a testicle. In court, he admitted to having two sawn off shotguns. <sighs> Looking at yourself is crazy. During the incident in which he shot himself in the groin, the court also heard he received a six year prison sentence in 2011 when the police found a pistol loaded with seven bullets hidden under his girlfriend's bed. Now on the 29th of May 2017, DA Capone, who was an S Block member, was viciously attacked by three Firetown members. They were armed with a gun and had knives. Luckily, the gun jammed. However, it didn't stop them from stabbing DA Capone. The 15 year old was found with stab wounds on Old Fallings Lane at 1 p.m. He remained in critical condition at hospital for some time. The attackers, being 15, 16, and 17 themselves, were all later arrested. On the 26th of January 2018, Black. Ain't nobody getting away in this story. Everybody's convicted. Black gang members, including M. Loose, real name Kai Bell, Triggs, real name Tavan, and Izzy, real name Israel, along with AD, attacked Triz gang members in Ashland Street, Penfields, at around 7 pm. Now, Triz members Smiler and Nahimi were jumped upon. Nahimi ran off but was caught and stabbed in the face, whereas Smiler was stabbed in the stomach. A man who lives in Ashland Street and did not want to be named said, I saw kids were fighting and one got stabbed down by the butchers. Then another one got stabbed. I saw him on the floor kneeling down. It was just kids going round doing stupid things. I didn't know it was serious. Now one of Nahimi's closest friends was known as K Sab, real name Keelan Wilson, who was a young teen who ripped the Triz gang in Wolverhampton. He was seen in many of their older music videos. Now for whatever reason, K Sab ended up switching gangs and joined their rivals Black Gang. His former Triz members were not too happy about it. Many flip flop. Many people speculate that K Sab was offered a more lucrative role in the Black Gang to deal drugs, but rumors are rumors. Now Nahimi was furious with the betrayal of his former friend. He sent him many text messages 
threatening to run into his house and do serious harm to his parents, granddad and brother. After Keelan saw these messages, he showed them to his father, Gary Wilson, who told him to calm down. Now on the 22nd of February 2018 at 8pm, Keelan and his father were driving when they spotted Nahimi. The father thought this was the perfect time to talk to Nahimi to sort things out. This is when Gary uh, ain't no talking. Gary Wilson approached him and said, Yeah, that was a bad call, Dad. <laughs> said, What's the problem? We need to sort this out. You've known each other for a long time. But Nahimi took no interest and was telling Keelan to come around the corner. Now, according to Gary, Nahimi brandished an axe, causing Gary to jump on him, both falling to the ground, where Gary then confiscated the axe and took it back to his van. As he was taking the axe back to his van, Keelan and Nahimi began to scuffle. Conflicting reports say the fight ended with Keelan using a machete to slash Nahimi in the face. Now on the 29th of May 2018 at around 3.40pm, Keelan along with his now black gang members such as Kai Bell got into a confrontation with Triz members outside the barbers. Both gangs seen waving machetes around while it was captured on camera. Triz members were itching to hurt Keelan. Now around 5pm, Keelan was captured on CCTV walking down Leg Street when two Triz members, one on foot and one on a bike, chased after him before a shotgun was fired in Keelan's direction. Missing him, Keelan escaped with his life once again. Now at 11pm, police were called to reports of a group of youths fighting in Langley Road where an injured Keelan, multiple stab wounds were discovered. He was taken to hospital with serious injuries, but sadly, he was confirmed dead time. a short time later. A post-mortem confirmed he died from stab wounds. He was stabbed a total of 43 times. I be trying to feel bad for people in this, but you know, they chose the life. Every action has a reaction, and when you choose this type of life, karma's going to... You know, spin the block every time. Four men were charged for his murder. The four being Nahimi and Zeno, real name Zene Pennant Phillips, both from the Triz gang. R.I.P. though. And the other two being Eastfield Boy members in BZ, real name Brian Sasa and Tiz, real name Tariq King. Free like everybody be doing bad and thinking that bad's not gonna happen to them. That's that's insane. That's a crazy way of thinking. I'm doing all this badness and nothing gonna happen to me. Cap. Three of Keelan's killers, Brian Sasa, 20, Nahimi, 20, and Tariq King, 19, were sentenced to a minimum of 18 years imprisonment. Now, Zenai Pennant Phillips, 19, had a slightly reduced sentence of 17 years as he had no previous criminal convictions. Now, on the 20th of July, 2018, four Glenworth Boy members got into an Audi they had stolen from an address the previous day Imagine never doing nothing bad in your life <laughs> and then slap and getting 17 years and stuff. And was on false plates. They picked up one, possibly two sawn or shotguns as they traveled to Valley Road, Park Village at around 9.20 p.m. to look for rival Park Village gang members. Park Village, one, possibly two sawn or shotguns. The UK got a hold of what these, what is this, a kill tech? What is this? As they traveled to Valley Road, Park Village at around 9.20 p.m. to look for rival this a Beretta? Park Village gang Technical members. Shotgun. They spotted Dwayne Horton along with his cousin, Barrington Clark, who was behind the wheel of a car while Dwayne was in the passenger seat of a stationary Peugeot 207. The Audi pulled up alongside the pair and a shotgun filled with buckshot cartridge was fired at point blank rage through the open passenger window up to three times. Mr. Dwayne Horton was hit in the face, head and shoulder, causing appalling injuries. Mr. Clark accelerated out of the street with his cousin dying alongside him. Dwayne Horton was rushed to New Cross Hospital before being transferred to Birmingham Queen's Elizabeth Hospital. However, his life could sadly not be saved and he was pronounced dead within a few hours. Now on the 15th of February 2019. Everybody's getting, everybody's RIP'd and everybody's 20, 17 years plus, 12 years plus. Don't y'all get it? Nobody winning. But you know, I can't. The Firetown member Shanky and Black Gang member M. Loose were on a joint drill armed in machetes when alert officers stopped their silver Ford Mondeo in the Heathtown area of Wolverhampton. Having spotted M. Loose in a passenger seat alongside Shanky, Shanky ran off from the scene, but 19 year old M. Loose, real name Kai Bell, was arrested and a foot long machete was found. 
Officers later apprehended Shanky, real name Shamar Fairclough. The pair later were both found guilty at Wolverhampton Crown Court of possessing a bladed article. Kai Bell was jailed for 15 months plus an additional 3 months for breaching a community order while Fairclough was in prison for 9 months. At around 4pm on the 2nd of April 2021, Tris gang member Jay Smoke, real name Joanne Kesto, had a gun delivered to his house by another teenager. Once he took it out of the rucksack, for some odd reason, he decided to hit the gun with a hammer. This caused the gun to fire and hit his girlfriend right in the chest. Jay Smoke then hit the car. Why would you do that? What are you doing? I don't even, I ain't never even heard of nothing like that. Why would you even, what, what, what were you testing? Go back. Did I hear what I heard? He the gun to out the rucksack for some odd reason. 2021, Tris gang member Jay Smoke, real name Joanne Kesto, had a gun delivered to his house by another teenager. Once he took it out of the rucksack, for some odd reason, he decided to hit the gun with a hammer. This caused the gun to fire and hit his girlfriend right in the chest. Jay Smoke then hid the cartridges in an airing cupboard while the 17 year old teenager dumped the gun. As for his girl, she was taken to the street where they rang an ambulance for her. She needed emergency life saving surgery, having suffered a stomach wound and a collapsed right lung. Thankfully, she survived. Jay Bro, what a. What? Jay Smoke was locked up for 10 years after admitting charges of inflicting grievous bodily harm, possessing a firearm when prohibited possessing ammunition when prohibited and possessing a prohibited firearm. On the 6th of May 2019, 22, a Park Village member and two other Park Village gang members traveled to Gracely Street where SA, a Glenworth boy member was spotted. SA was then shot in the head at 8 p.m. but fortunately survived. Two boys aged 15 and 17 were arrested on the suspicion of attempted murder. This attack was revenge for the murder of Dwayne. In these streets, gang members have to look out for rival gangs and the police. However, what's lost to some is the fact that sometimes you have to beware of your own gang. Betrayal is a common theme in the streets. Firetown member Paul. That's a heavy thing in our Chicago, man. Inner, inner gang beefs take more lives than, than wars. Real name Paulius Petrus and Newest allegedly ran off with fellow member Shanky's drugs. This caused Shanky to put out a hit on him. Firetown member Sean Ball accepted the mission and on the 13th of July 2020, Sean was captured on film laughing and joking with father of one and friend Polo before knifing his victim in the hallway of a block of fats at Chairville Rise in the Heathtown area of Wolverhampton. Sean was quickly identified as the prime suspect by the detectives who launched a manhunt in a bid to catch him. Two days later, he was traced to an address in Shrewsbury and a man bag next to him was found to contain the victim's blood. Cle bait, bait face too? Bait face didn't dispose of nothing. You're the accident to be caught. Really linking him to the scene of the crime. West Midlands police used CCTV, forensics, and the brave testimony of Polo's friends to build a case against Sean Ball, who was found guilty of murder at Stoke Crown Court. Sean Ball was sentenced to life with a minimum of 20 years. The bitter rivalry between Black Gang and Tris almost caused a tragedy when on the 28th of May 2 Almost? There's been a lot of tra- what? Okay, hold on. 2002, Black Gang members smashed their house window and poured a gallon of fuel into the front room before the attackers attempted to light it and flee the scene. Mr. Ahmed, 40, who lived there, said he had been asleep when he heard the noise and described the scene that unfolded. Mr. Ahmed said that the smell of the fuel had been too overpowering for the family to stay there and they had been put up in a hotel by the police. The police report for the first attack had suggested a case of mistaken identity, but Mr. Ahmed said, I don't think it was a mistaken identity because they seemed to have come the next day and started the fire properly after breaking a second window and throwing a cigarette inside. Mr. Ahmed said the whole incident had left the family deeply shaken 
and upset and and said he wasn't happy with the police response to the second incident. He said, my children are scared and not able to go to school. I am unable to go. Went back to the scene of the crime and the police wasn't there, didn't do nothing, didn't handle it correct. That's crazy. To work because I need to stay with my family. On October 30th, 2022, Trizzy, real name Kane Jones, a Cedar Grove member, was captured on security cameras, brandishing a knife and making slashing motions during a massive brawl in Bilston Town Centre. He was later charged, however, a court heard he was not responsible for causing the injuries, hence was released. Despite being free for a short time, he was already back drilling and on the 23rd of April 2023, at 1am, Trizzy fired several shots on Bitern Drive with Marines. Sadly, he left the woman with a leg injury. A spokesman for West Midlands Police said, We charged the man in connection with a shooting which left the woman injured in Wolverhampton. Kane Jones will appear at Wolverhampton Crown Court and charged with possession of a firearm with intent to endanger life, possession of ammunition in a public place and wounded with intent 13? and violent disorder. Now in May 2023, Park Village members K, real name Kian Dunin, 22, real name Tariq McIntosh, and Sosa, real name Martino de Sosa from Eastwood Boys, got into a stolen car with firearms. They travelled in hopes of finding rivals to unleash their heavy firepower on. When they got to Shelley Road in Bushbury, they spotted rival gang members in a Mini Cooper. CCTV captured the moments when the driver of the stolen Ford Focus and Macintosh in the front seat both leaning out of the window and firing shots towards members of the rival group. With the Sosa in the back seat, the rivals gave chase after the shooting along with other vehicles including an electric bike. No rivals were hit, however, two children were hit in the legs. Oh my god, these dudes are... They, hey, listen. Traumatize these kids, But they have man. since recovered from their physical injuries, the trial heard. Unfortunately, the children's playground was right in the line of fire. The girl was playing and climbing on frames at the time while the 15-year-old boy was in the car park area on a bicycle. In a victim impact statement read to the court, the mother of the 11-year-old girl said their lives had been turned upside down since the attack. We have lived and breathed this every day since it happened, she said. The family added that the girl had suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder. That's the saddest part of it all, man. I knew nothing is going to be the same after that for that 11-year-old. And that's the crazy part, man. Eh? Mm -hmm. Armed police with their body cameras later arrested Kian Dunin, Martino de Sosa and Tariq McIntosh after the shooting at the park in Wolverhampton. 2023 continued to be a bad year for Wolverhampton. On the 18th of September, Glenworth boy member Rails, real name Terrell Marshall Williams, 16, was found hurt on Warnford Walk in Maryhill suburb of Wolverhampton. Unfortunately, he was pronounced dead at the scene. Omari Lauder, age 23, and M4 Obi, 22, have appeared in court with a trial date set in 2024. By the way, Omari Lauder had previous run-ins with the law when he was seen by neighbourhood policing officers to be acting suspiciously in the Eastwood area of Peterborough on the 24th of November. Officers approached him to speak with him, he however, ran? he ran off and was seen to be carrying a large kitchen knife in one of his hands. He threw the knife onto the ground while being chased, however, officers caught up to him and found him to be in possession of cannabis and two wraps of heroin. Now remember I mentioned earlier about Glenworth boy member Fats being a well-known shooter who terrified right, right. his rivals. Well, he was at it again. On the 23rd of May 2023, he would carry out a shooting where a man would suffer gunshot wounds after shots were fired at a car near a college campus in Wolverhampton. Police closed off Paget Road between Tettenhall Road and Clark Road just after 9.30pm on Thursday night following the incident. Now that brings me to the end of this video. As always, I send my condolences to the family of everyone. Yeah, man, RIP, my condolences go out, but at the same time, man, really, my heart only go out to the, the innocent victims because that's all that mattered. And that's all who didn't choose this lifestyle. They don't deserve it. When I mention, as always, please like and subscribe. Tell her, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Go like Skyboy, go follow, man, I'm gone.